Hello and welcome back to the Science of Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, where we're continuing our exploration of the Nexus and meeting uh, the important people on the Nexus. And I'll try to uh, do a bit more meeting of people and progression of story than last time. Cell type place. Hyperion power draw is now at one hundred percent. Shout from arms merchants. Stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. Ouch. Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible, what with how we crash landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so. So. Yeah, um, it's kind of, kind of been all throughout Mass Effect that they kind of have to uh, squeeze themselves into rare, uh, into too strange uh, shapes to to justify why you have to pay for stuff when you should be just getting stuff, right? As is the top level operative of, uh, for want of a better word, the government. No, the government should be providing you equipment. Why am I buying my own stuff? Especially from initiative people, right? It's a different matter from I'm trading with the locals. Uh, anyway, what I just want to do is sell all my stuff. Go. And, and yeah, uh, missing stuff and I have to trade with crooks is, is a bit of a weird justification. Um, anyway. Tram technicians, please report the Hyperion coupling annex. Arms merchants. Yeah, look, it's just there. I know. <laughs> I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results. Though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket? We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows, but I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Fair enough. And, you know, you probably also wouldn't take kindly to aliens studying you. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Irene went pirate on Omega. Huh. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. Found a connection to Nairine, eh? You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Mm -hmm. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. 
but it's hard to focus with our arc missing. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Okay, so this is basically kind of like the... Uh, war table, right? So, DAI. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. Please speak with really Tyrion Kandros did. for authorization to participate. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. That was very easy. Thank you. Glad that some people trust me. Try teams can be set to missions. They'll earn XP and rather than reward if they fail. Get a small amount of XP and no special reward. Apex, sleet strike team cluster. Critical missions. Uh, okay, so it's basically multiplayer. Okay, thank you. Current list of recruited strike teams. Uh, more strike teams have more risk than taken once. Strike teams get positive traits. If they succeed, negative ones if they fail. Okay, very good. Uh, 40 mission funds. Okay. I get all kinds of stuff. Very good. Um, let's buy them some drink. Shots. Oops. Mission is available. Difficulty mission. Description for each mission. Blah blah. Soon to percent chance of success, sure. Might as well start sending mats right away. This is a nightmare. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're so it's true. A pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Uh, sure. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him.
store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish. I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda scientific mysteries. Ooh, I want to join. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop. Uh, lab. You know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Yay, science. Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Okay. Pathfinder, those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? What is that about? What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Wow, I wish... I'm sure most biologists wishes, wish they could pay finder's fees. Have funding for that. Hi, Pathfinder. Wanna hit some rocks for science? Sounds good. Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysic surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field? And I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? That sounds excellent. Get to go in science. The beauty of the cosmos unfolds in your planet scans, Pathfinder. But there is more they can do. Do you have something in mind, Doctor? Plans for a school are underway to inspire a new generation of young minds. I want to craft a model of the cluster for them, accurate and splendid from your data. My prototype is on that console. Add more scans to improve it, and I will share my educational budget with you. And my thanks. All this money that I've just give out like that. If only real science was like that. Alright, Prozel Prof. and Herrick at all. Usually you don't put your professional title in publications, but okay. Should. This is nice. We are by definition an invasive species in Andromeda. Very true. So our natural footprint must be laid carefully and we must preserve anything we replace. Or displace. We arrived to see the archives and DNA banks ensure preservation of the Idoris Milky Way, but this cluster is scarred by the scourge and its unique flora and fauna threatened by its turbulence. That too requires conservation. Yeah, but maybe the scourge is the natural way of things here. Uh, so should you then conserve things from the Scourge? But I just wonder what GV means. <laughs> Tuned voice recognition to recognize both aluminum and aluminium. Very good. Haptic interface non resolves default to transparent. Also resolves haptic interface not found. Excellent. Uh, three initial system models complete the next week. She our place in the world. Three to Nexus we correct its construction, correct its orientation. Um, you think with all the data we already have in this place, you could really build these models, but sure. Uh, our daughters will not know stasis. The 600 years sleeping, they will be born of Andromeda and whatever is unfolding. This cluster is in its chaos was not welcoming, but it matters less what we suffer here more what we bring. 
I, I like that they've made her a poet, uh, right? There's uh, sometimes this idea that you, you know, science and arts are separate, and, and uh, you know that that that's either you're a geek who likes science or you're an artsy type, uh, but you can't be both. Uh, but really, you very much can. Uh, there's plenty of scientists who liked art, who even made art themselves, still are. Uh, if you look on, on Twitter for hashtag SciArt, um, you can find examples. Uh, and you know, there, there are a lot of scientists who kind of also see artistry in their work and appreciate the beauty of the universe through their work. And also, you know, scientists really are, are motivated to turn it into uh, beauty. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's also a, a at least one conference where they also do haiku versions of, of their conference abstracts. Uh, so it's nice that they show that kind of uh, connection here. Oops, it's not what I meant. So. Can I compare? Uh, less damage, more rate of fire, clip size, less accuracy, so basically we... Wait, this is... No more rate of fire. There's damage. Oh. Um, you know what? Let's equip this then. Can I equip this? How do I choose what to equip? Damage control. Candras from your turn. Candras where? Must meet to be rewarded next during absence. Fence escalate quickly. We leave again with a fire and hundred panics and theft and armory. Motivations uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor. But for the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. Functionary attempts to catalog and address damages caused by Sloan's people during uprising, supply stone, broken things of that nature. So hoping the militia could step in and draw up an official report. Apparently, if we know what we are working with, we're going to survive. To return, I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. If really militia oversight, get something else to look at it. So does my understanding that exiles from more Calyx's people than Sloan's. Isn't he the one who started the mutiny? Interesting. Calyx Corvanus may have started, but Sloan made allegiances. Clear. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when it comes to this task. Stone Kelly's not who I thought she was, there would be a problem. Good. You might object to sending a small and discreet conscious team to find where Sloan and Exus might have gone. We do get colonial efforts up and running, I don't have any surprises. Yeah, or you want to murder them. Recom team, trails called, found it looks like abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system, but not with living inhabitants, only graveyards. Conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Sloan. Kelly. Mm, so, so, yeah, definitely getting the sense of more going on here than we know about. Um, let's go talk to um, the first murderer. Uh, there's a guest over here. Help you? Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkan Rensis. Ah, 
Our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Milkan, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says she didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the Ket, and... I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the Chief's chest explode. I'm so sorry, that's awful. We were close. He was a stubborn son of a... I admire that about him. But I was enraged when we argued. There is a recording. It's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Well, I guess I have to uh, review the evidence. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Sure, let's make ourselves popular around here. Bye. Overthrowing their first murder conviction. Sure, that'll go down real well with people, but it'd be nice to test my Pathfinder authority. No news on the Turian Arc yet. Or is this militia business? I spoke with Nilkan Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. It doesn't uh -huh. seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look. Knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kendros. Duty call. I mean... You and me both, Pathfinder. Understandable. Did we really look at the state of bad? I think we did. There's stage report in sector 16C, seems no close to getting foothold in any sector. A uh, decent recon on great intel, then memes start to think our efforts are futile. The risk involved in continuous loss of resources and lives make it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expeditions again. Sure. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nelkan. We're taking it back. No, I'm not letting your ego get us killed. Even if I have to... No, get him off me! Get him off me! Hmm. Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. Hmm. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. You think by now they would... Um... I've done something about that. Anyway, I'll check that out now. Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Please await further instructions. Alright, moving. <laughs> 
Shadow Docking Console, hatch. you're not going to be quick friends. Docking hatch integrity. That's kind of cute and kind of disturbing. Before we removed them from the station, the mutineers left some surprises in the system. The superintendent has had everyone on deck manually double-check the relays. Mutineers? Cassidy Shaw, I'm Scott Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, no. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Hmm. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. And so he sold all the shock business? Not quite add up. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Right. Makes sense. Um, well, let's go talk to Tan and then... I should think it'll be a good place to uh, end this episode. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the golden worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right, I think I should go check on things. That's an elegant way of saying... And if I fail, your I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Fair enough. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, please see me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, 
I'm fine. Interesting, Sam. Nice of you to uh, interrupt me like that. Um, Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Glad you, uh, that's what you care about. I'm looking into the Nilk and Rancis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right. But let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Um... It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Gene Garson, is dead. How did Gene Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Kendris mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we call them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Uh, who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen. Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. So, all the sons very framed and carefully worded that instantly makes me suspicious of what, what really went on. Um, also, the term outlaw is interesting to use because um, outlaw in the original sense of the word meant someone who was outside the law uh, and was therefore uh, perfectly A-OK -okay to do whatever you like to that person up to inc and including killing them, right? They'd been outlawed, outside the law, the lords Law's protection had been removed from them, kind of as a punishment. Uh, so it sounds awfully a lot like what they've done to these exiles, right? By placing them outside of the regular Nexus society, basically all of them are outlaws, not just Sloan Kelly. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The wow. Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved, their muscle, nothing more. Wow. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Wow. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Well, they really are in Andromeda, so deal with it. Although well, I suppose he kind of has. What more can you tell me about the way. initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. 
I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Jean Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the Initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. It's kind of the um, definition of a great idea, right? Because if the doubters were right, you wouldn't call idea great. Um, so it's basically survivorship bias. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. Kind of sad if they don't find it, though. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Well, can we make cash and charge it? Um, um, uh, oh, yes, um, how can the Nexus be the body of government? Could be the seat of the government. The body of the government will have to be um, people. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. Yeah, if only they just did what you said, right? What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. Indeed, uh, revenue management. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. Why is there a, a revenue man to be managed in the first place? That's the... the Really interesting question. Also interesting that he's quoting human poetry. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Humor? Also, wow. scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No. And that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. 
It seems they're also bringing along drell, hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs cause complications. We won't see them for some time to come. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. Oh, I think the Rex return. You will find that my future doesn't need to depend on your success at all. Um. Anyway, a couple of notes before I end this episode because it's going to run long once again. Uh, I think I'll just have to declare these episodes to be between 20 and 40 minutes in length, right? That <laughs> it always uh, turn out well. Um, yeah, so... Uh, it's like Guy said. Um, so yeah, the, the missing harks is, is weird. You'd think that during the entire trip you'd keep your arcs relatively close together and kind of in contact with each other, right? Uh, it's also strange that people only really seem to have woken up right when they hit the scourge, right? Why not wake people up? Each the skeleton crew, like, when you're still a month out, to kind of more gradually fly in and then see what's ahead of you. Uh, anyway, and a final note is, uh, once again, the naming team is heavily into Greek mythology, because Eos, uh, the planet we're heading to, was a Greek uh, deity uh, related to Dawn. It's very symbolic, of course, according to your planet, Dawn. Uh, but again, interesting, A, it's a human word, uh, and B, from Greek mythology, right? Um, I'm sure there are also Dawn deities, or morning deities, uh, in other cultures as well they could have used, but once again, they've gone with Greek. Interesting to note. Anyway, uh, I've gone on for more than long enough for this episode. So, uh, thanks once again for hanging out, and see you next time. Bye-bye.